What up? It's the big homie ODHAT TV out here in Bucket, Buckhead, Atlanta, Georgia, for the Gladiator School event that Snoop's holding during BET um, Award Weekend. Sitting next to me is none other than Daylight. What's up with you, man? Uh, you know, um, you know. <laughs> All right. Um, you're not battling tomorrow, right? Yes, no. What? There's a lot of surprises that goes on this weekend, and that's what I get booked to do. Oh, okay. That's what's up. Um, you don't want to reveal it right now, though. Um, the world knows I got Tsunami Surf. Um, we got some very big for tomorrow, like very big, like some special announcement stuff that may shake up the entire battle community. Mm, that's dope. That's dope. Care to expand or? Um, you know, like I said, uh, you know, Snoop said that he was going to add something very new to the battle rap world. And who other to do it with, with other than his, you know, fellow West Coast native, and also the the guy that's wild enough to do it with, who who we can take the risk with, me and and I can't really explain exactly what it is, but just know when y'all see it, y'all gonna be like, whoa, that's that's some other shit right there. But it's 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 not on any level of battle rap that y'all have seen it's something on a very higher level of battle rap damn that's dope okay word yeah that's yeah, put love like this, put like this uh the the production alone um they put about a good like 400 grand into the production alone for the battle damn i don't never i don't know when i can no, no, trust you it's or it's not it's trust it's it. to, to let the world know the the same makers who made the movie 300 is the same people who organized me and Tsunami Surf Battle. Damn. Okay. That's what's up. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. That's serious. Um. When I when I ran into you uh, earlier, there was a, like a shooting up at the mall and all yeah, that stuff. So, Man. You know, well, you uh, pulled your you brought your gun. You no, got that on the. <laughs> we get off. You know, we get off the plane. We come into the room. We're like, oh, let's stop at the mall to get something to eat. You know what I'm saying? We stop at the mall. And like, like I'm like, yo, it's helicopters outside. But I'm thinking, you know, it's BT weekend. You know what I'm saying? You know, all type of shit going on. So maybe they just film it. You know, we get a little closer. I see the news camp, the news people out. And I'm like, you know, all right, whatever. You know, what I'm, I'm out the hood. This shit don't, you know, I, I mean, I'm in the hood, but I'm still out the hood. Boom. I say, okay, you know, there's little, little numbers on the ground. Like, what are those numbers for? Oh, shit, them bullet shells. Oh, shit, this shit taped up. Oh, shit. Body on the ground Like it's a dead ass body Like covered up At the mall Like So you can probably Google it right now It's probably up right now Shooting at the Yeah mall. I got I got uh right? the, the video of the tape And all that Yeah yeah Yeah, yeah so somebody got killed right and That's Shot. not what I heard Shot. They were shooting Okay yeah I, Well yeah I know it was ugly though It was very ugly yeah, was But the funny part about it Is that People were walking by As if nothing happened like we kept walking by, we still winning eight rallies. Um, you know, it was whoop de doo. And um, shit happens, man. Shit happens everywhere. You know what I'm saying? But when that when shit hap like when I see shit like that, it just it just make me feel like the hood is still following me. You get what I'm saying? Like my yeah. like damn man, I try to get away from this shit. This shit's still here. Like, but you know, I guess that shit follow us. Period. You know, black people. Right, right, no doubt. All right, let's let's get back to Snoop real quick. Um, I've been asking everybody What do they think about Industry artists um, That are kind of like Out of the battle culture Coming into the battle culture Doing these events and stuff Do you think it's a good or bad thing Because I'm surprised that Actually some people Some of the MCs that I ask Actually kind of didn't necessarily like it Or whatever What's your aspect uh, on that I look at it like this You know what I'm saying Um whether y'all want to accept it or not, and this goes for every battle rapper, whether whether y'all want to accept it or not, these industry niggas is jumping in this shit and paying us more than what niggas have been paying us for these 10, 15 years we've been battling. And let's really be honest, these leads been sucking the dog shit out of us for the last how many years? And these industry niggas is coming in here paying us. So either you want to keep making five thousand to four thousand from the same nigga who been paying you four or five thousand your whole life, or you want to get fifteen to twenty or whatever. We we gonna be slaves to the lead owners regardless. It just depends on what type of slave you want to be. You want to be a house slave picking cotton for the crumbs. I mean, a field slave picking cotton for the crumbs, or you want to be a house slave and get a little more. That that's pretty much what it's gonna boil down to. 
and and that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I truthfully, you know what I'm saying? I went from getting two hundred to five hundred, and if they don't pay me five hundred, I'm gonna clap that shit up. To now, I'm getting fifteen and tens and shit like that. So I'm good. I'm happy. I'm a happy slave right now. I'm real happy. Hey, you're 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 kind of um, unique. In a sense, because you're both the slave and the slave yeah. owner, because yeah. you got the blacktop league too, yeah. though. Y'all ain't forgot about but that. See, you on my side of the fence too. See, with the blacktop, with the blacktop league, and this uh, this will tell you, I did something completely different with the blacktop league, which was, although I didn't pay anybody, it was my first lead, but I did fly people out. I flew people out like under no expense. You know what I'm saying? Hotels, all that shit. So you know what I'm saying, like. Like as a battle rapper to get called, you know, to, like a no name battle rapper to get called to do something and pay for it. That's that's beyond. You know, what I mean, that's different. You know how it works. Like, you know, just to pay a no name nigga who is not going to generate you no money at all. That's just love. That's out the pocket. So my black top lead is started specifically to help people. It's not it's not it's not a takeaway. It's not something that I use to profit off of because I don't profit at all. It's out of the pocket. Like, Right, right. Since you you kind of went through some of the same stuff as me, tell me your opinion about this. Like, I got some dudes in my league that, like, I'm the only battle league that will pay them. Like, no other battle league will probably pay them. And they almost, you know, sometimes it's like they're not even happy. They're not making a gang of money. They're not. But it's still, I'm, we're like the only league that would pay them. What do you think about MCs that, that, would, that are in my league that, probably wouldn't get paid nowhere else yeah, uh, not being happy with getting small amounts when you were you were a big name and you took small amounts to get to where you are a lot of people don't understand the life of of business moves now you got to really ask yourself this as a battle mc this is how you determine your worth you have to really ask yourself literally how many followers you have how many views you have how many people is going to come see you? That's what your pay is really based off of. How many people is willing to pay to see you rap? Now, if, if, all right, like, like I have made it to where I, if you, you can book a daylight battle with daylight on the card, by daylight versus question mark, and it's one battle on the card, I probably can sell out the event by myself. Now, if you can't even get, 20 people to an event you have to really ask yourself why should i ask for this type of money you know what i mean why should i ask for a thousand dollars or or whatever you know what i'm saying you got to really tell yourself now it also is a flip side of it high price battles like if you can get a, a high price battle then take it let's take the rain man situation rain man rain man me and rain man was set up for i battle lead i didn't battle rain man because rain man said the money wasn't right so Rain Man backed out of the battle last minute and went and battled Ty Law for a, agree a bigger amount of money. But now let's look at it. Where is Rain Man right now? You get what I'm saying? You got a bigger amount of money, but yet you forfeited your whole career. It's it. That's it. You're not getting back on the big card. It's over. You're not gonna right. Yeah, I don't even know who Rain Man is. Exactly. <laughs> You're not gonna get a big battle now. It's over. Your your return. Your epic re Rain Man is is from the Reed Dollars era and all that shit. So he had a big return. Like you know what I'm saying? It was the, like it was from Philly. The return niggas. Rain Man, Reed Dollars, Eddie Morris. All them dudes. Like so his return versus Daylight was epic. Everybody's like, nigga, this shit is gonna be a classic. He backed out of that, returned against Ty Law, not not taking away nothing from Ty Law, but it's it's bigger than you know what I'm saying. It, it, it means a lot depending on who you battle. Like me and Lada Zay, people ask me like, yo, battle Lada Zay, battle Lada Zay. They wanted me to do it on URL for more money, for more money on URL. I said no, and I battled Lada Zay for. $200 on I Battle League and that battle alone has made me m over $10,000, 15000 just, just from people booking me from that specific battle. Mm. So sometimes it's not about the money. You have to really play chess with this shit and choose the worthy of me and Rich Dollars, one of my most known battles to this day. And yet they asked me to do that on URL. I said no for pay. I said no and I did it on King of the Dot for free. Sometimes it's bigger than that, man. Like it, right. it's not about the money right now. You have to 
like you have to set that foundation once you set that foundation of of like a, either a very dope battle or a dope battle with a very known person or a known battle to where people want to watch after that the money going to roll in man it's going to roll in you don't you don't really have to always ask for money i mean i like i know you know a lot of people want to get paid i know a lot of people feel like they should be paid but you have to think about it like sometimes take the loss for a bigger game man and people don't understand that right exactly like when you came and battled in our league um in vegas i was trying to set you up versus juice mm -hmm. but he was asking for too much money and i was like telling him yeah and then his boy <laughs> from his crew round up battling you and that's 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 a hundred view hundred thousand view now, battle and juice ain't never had a hundred thousand view battle exactly now now really think about it scheme oh, okay scheme is supposed to be juice's little nigga right? right scheme is a bigger name than juice now by far and not only or is he a bigger name he participated in one of the antics that people actually liked from daylight like they actually there's a lot of people like yo this is my favorite battle this shit is hilarious and not to mention scheme was actually getting the fuck off right, right. so you know what i mean like like people that's what i'm saying now, now let's take juice for example juice who I mean, you know, you my nigga, Drew, 6 0. Oh, but I'm saying, but let's be honest, bro. Like, nigga, if, if I was in Jew situation and a lead was like, yo, we want you to battle daylight, book me. I don't, like, just get me out there. I don't care. Like, I, I don't even, don't even talk to me about numbers. Just get me out there. You know what I mean? Like, I got a big battle coming up. You know what I'm saying? I, I, spoiler alert daylight versus 50 Tyson is going down. And, um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> that's the way, hold on. <laughs> hey, that's gonna be some funny yeah. shit right there. I know you gonna be off I'm the done. chain. I'm that. done with battling. I'm like I said, I gave niggas enough classics. I gave niggas enough bar fest. I gave niggas enough whatever. But I'm done with trying to put my mind together for all these fucking bars. I just want to do antics now. So, <laughs> Fifty Tyson, and you know that's actually confirmed and locked in for December. So, okay, what league is doing that? Blacktop. Oh, okay. That's your league. Yeah, that's my league, okay. Blacktop. Um, pretty much, uh, as of right now, it's Blacktop. But I may create another business, which is another lead, and I may do a, a lead. I don't have a name for it yet, but the lead will be single-handedly based on antics. <laughs> hey, wait, hold on. How much of your stuff when you talking is real and then how much is fake? Because you say some fake shit when you talking. So about tell me what's about the percentage to real to See, fake stuff. This is this is this is how this is how I work. I work in reverse. I want people not to believe me. So I do so much stuff. Like if I say, yo, I was gonna give away a million dollars, like ninety thousand percent of people is gonna say, Man, you don't even have a million dollars. How are you gonna give away a million dollars? But they fell to realize I didn't lie. I was gonna give away a million dollars worth of coupons. <laughs> so did I lie? That's the real question. Did I lie? No, I didn't. I didn't say a million dollars in cash. I said a million dollars worth of coupons. You didn't read the fine print. That's your fault. <laughs> but you know, as God is my witness, you know. I'm really thinking about like Because there's a lot of people that do antics only Like you know let's, let's Super hot fire You know Uno Lavos He just did a PG he was cooking But he's known for antics You got the one dude that, that married a girl in battle rap You got the other little dude that dress up with the daylight spawn mask on uh, You got like You got the other Carter Dreams The dude that kissed his boyfriend mid battle uh, you got like what about Cadillac Ron shooting got, the hair wrong. You got cat. Just think, yo, I can have a dope top tier antique roster in rotation. <laughs> Summer Madness Four, Night of the Antics, like, <laughs> like just think, like just think, I line up JJ Fish versus Fifty Tyson, like. We all you can't say nothing to these dudes because they average more views than all of us combined. So that's what I'm trying to... Y'all want to talk about million... You said I don't got no million views? I'm going to get my million views one way or another. And, and Daylight vs. 50 Tyson will be it. So that's going down in December. That's confirmed. You know what I'm saying? Before you chop this up, 
I'll send you the, the email so you can, you know, put the screenshots in there and let you know it's confirmed and everything. It's yeah, confirmed. No doubt, it's gonna no do. Okay, okay. Um, all right, coming back to Snoop Dogg's Gladiator School. Um, on the card, he has Hitman Holler. Mm -hmm. Hitman Holler plays basketball. He's dope. You dope. A lot of people want to see you guys play basketball. Um, do you think you could beat Hitman Holler in basketball? And if so, why? Um, and did you see his one-on-one -on -one game that's online? Yeah, I've seen, that. seen him versus Jawi, and as a real basketball player, well, I could be a fake nigga and be like, oh, nigga, you got beat by Jawi, you whack. And then I can be a real nigga and say, yeah, Hitman played, you know, indoor basketball. He plays, like, D1 level basketball. So, you know, playing against a dude that played outside basketball and a dude that's kind of, you know, as wild as Jawi, you know what I'm saying? Hitman probably ain't know if Jawi was going to smoke the nigga if, if he won. Nigga, we seen, uh, what was the game um, with, um, what was the shit with Jesus Shuttleworth? What was that shit when the nigga popped that nigga for being good? Um, uh, all that, you know, yeah, all that shit, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You New Jersey niggas be killing niggas when they win. So, you know, maybe Hitman didn't really, you know what I'm saying? Niggas on the sideline like, yeah, nigga, you scored another point, nigga. It's on. Clack, clack. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. That shit was chopped up. I don't, I don't know. But I could tell. I looked at Hitman's eyes and was like, somebody got a gun behind the camera pointed at that nigga. Like, he was missing shots and shit. I'm like, nah, this ain't Hitman. Like, so, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to be a fair nigga. I watched some of Hitman, you know, real, real shit. Like, his real D1 shit. And he could go. Like, he can really go. So, um, but you know, like I know, one on one basketball is completely different from organized basketball. There's a lot of factors. There's a there's like when you playing one on one basketball, I mean when you playing in game basketball with refs and you know, high level basketball, when you don't have the ball or when you're when the person you're defending don't have the ball, you get rest time. You know, you can float, you can sag off, you know what I'm saying, you can help side. But when that person has the ball every time and you have to play defense every single time, that's when adrenaline, that's when momentum, that's when uh, endurance, like all that stuff play a valuable factor when playing one-on-one. -on -one. When you have, like, that's like your coach, you ever, like, and this goes for every person who played high-level basketball. If your coach tell you, ISO, that first one, you work, boom, boom, boom. ISO again, you work, boom, boom. By, by the time the six or seven ISO, you like, <sighs> you know what I'm saying? All right, I'm going to do a move and hit a jumper. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and that's what you got to think. So, boom, you know, when you're playing one-on-one -on -one basketball, you're going to get to about seven or eight points, and you're going to be like, damn. All right. Yeah, two points. You know what I'm saying? You know, you're going to be like, you know, you seen aspect one. Yeah. Shit was all gravy. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I kill you, nigga, two points. That nigga was like... You know what I'm saying? I know he got the little shit, but still, you know what I'm saying? I, and I and literally like last night, like what was that? Last night I play, I went to play. I got the footage and I playing one on one with this dude before I got um before I flew out or whatnot. And um, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, boom, I'm gonna go hard. I'm gonna go real hard. You know what I'm saying? Boom, I went hard. And I ain't gonna front like by like the 12 point. I was like, all right, you know what I'm saying? All right, let me slow down. Let me, let me shoot some jump shots, you know what I'm saying? But but even even in one-on-one, -on -one, people fail to realize it's smaller stuff that gets you tired, like posting up. Like playing in the post actually gets you more tired than running. Like yeah. body strength and muscle and that shit gets you very tired. Like so you know what I'm saying? Like me versus Hitman, um, I think it, I think I think more people in the world wanna see me versus Hitman more than they would want to see us battle. I think there's more people who want to see us play basketball than us battle. Yeah, I think you might be right because, like, when you look at the whole battle culture and, like, who plays basketball, you guys' game is, like, the most exciting. Like, you guys cross, do the crossover yeah. stuff, and you dunk, and you know what I'm saying? They got the gym, you know, the quick yeah. shakes and jimmies and all that yeah. stuff. But you still have an answer. Can you beat them, though? Do you think you would beat them, and why would you beat them? If you think you could beat them. Well... I could jump very high. I can literally dunk from the free throw line. Um, I can shoot. He's not telling the truth right there. The footage is there. The footage is online. There, there's an Instagram. Hey, I'll put some guap on that right now. Where the court? There's I a, got my stack. Of there's an inst oh. there's an Instagram clip of where I'm like a foot and a half in front of the free throw line. There's an Instagram clip. All right. Um, you know, I can shoot very well with both hands. It really doesn't matter what hand I shoot with. 
Um, I can dribble very well. Um, there's a lot of things I can do. So, like I said, you can watch somebody's highlight tape all you want. Shit is totally different when you play against them. Right. right. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be honest. Like, I, And this is when I say, you know, I'm not trolling. I'm not just finna sit up here and talk shit. I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm going to keep it a buck. Um, can I beat them? I won't know that until we get foot on the court. And that first couple of plays, I'll know what the score is going to be. Like, literally, like, if I say, if I do, like, a few moves and I'll be like, oh, I know exactly how I'm going to line them up for the next nine plays, then I'll get them. Because I, I, I play basketball very strategic. I don't just go in the game. I'm not, a, I'm not a young nigga. I'm up there, too. I'm 31. I'm not a young nigga. So, you know, I play, I play very strategic. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know, okay, boom, brick, brick your first three shots. Now the nigga gonna think you can't shoot. He's gonna play you back. Boom! Now you got wide open jumpers. Boom! You hit three wide open in a row. He gonna play you close. Now every time you pump fake, he's gonna jump because he knows you can shoot. Once you got somebody at the level to where they they jittery at all your moves, you have them under full control. Right. So you know what I'm saying I'm very strategic. So it just depends on how we're playing ball. Also, I told Matt Barnes I would bust his ass too very badly. <laughs> Very bad. <laughs> All right, now let's uh, let's talk about me. And oh, okay. Yeah. We can, let's 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 walk under the light. We can still keep it going. Um. All right, so let's talk about me and you though. Me and you in January, <laughs> we got this thirty-five hundred dollar game. And and and. You know, I necessarily, to be honest, I didn't want to play you. In the beginning, I wanted to play with you because we both on the West Coast. I'm from L.A. too. And, uh, you know, I think we could smash these East Coast dudes. But you did go on the Facebook group and said, like, I wouldn't score three points on you <laughs> and all this stuff. And you know what I'm saying? I'm from the city, homie. That was like a call out. Yeah, it's old. Yeah, it's old. So – what makes you think you could beat me? If you really could beat me, do do you really think that though? Um, like you would like, like said, dominate you, me? No, to be honest, you know what I'm saying. Like I said, there comes a time where I'm trolling, and when I'm not trolling, and right now I'm really not trolling. And I'll be honest with you, I watch all every single one of your games, like all of them, and I noticed a valuable thing about you. You play very. There's another hooper right oh, here. We talk I don't. Hey, I don't know if he does hoop though. I heard. What's up? Yeah, what's up, family? What's good? Hey, hey, do you really hoop though? Do you? Yeah, I really do. Oh, okay. Cause that's what we talking about. Me and him, we gonna play a, a thirty-five hundred dollar basketball game in January. And, nah, he really hoop. I know, I know. I hoop too though. Yeah, nah, I mean, yeah, I hoop he, too though. But, but but I don't. I can't jump. Like I, you know, what I'm saying he could jump. I can't really jump. I'm not. I wasn't really that good on it. I was good with handle. I got handle and I could pass. And, you know what I'm saying? I was. Yeah. I, I didn't have real hops. I just was quick and you couldn't. You couldn't rip me. You couldn't. You know what I'm saying? Do you think you would beat him? He's a guard too. Nah, I, I, He's, I looked at his recent shit. I can't. I ain't gonna lie. I can't even beat him. I'm. I don't have no <laughs> win for it. I. I like. I'm telling you. He looked like he was way more in shape, and I would be finished the first like couple of. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I ain't no gonna doubt. hold you. No doubt. Tell me um, what's your, um, like, expectations for tomorrow. You know, it's a big event and everything, and, you know, Daylight's part of it. You got all these top-tier MCs. Mm -hmm. What's your expectations? What you hoping for? I'm just hoping to, to, for it to happen the same way that it always happened. Motherfuckers is going there with their best shit, you know, and, um, just get out, like you know what I mean. It wasn't. I'm not really hoping for nothing else but good battles, man. I want good battles. I don't. I don't really want no murders. You know what I'm saying? I want some yeah. real back and forth. Gladiator school. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I want that. That's what I'm hoping for. Right. What do you? What do you think about? Um, I've been asking all the MCs this. What do you think about industry artists coming into battle rap and doing battle rap events? What do you think it brings to the culture or whatever? I mean, it's it's so it's definitely gonna bring bring uh, it's gonna bring more eyes and attention. You know what I'm saying? More um, it's definitely gonna bring more money to it. You know what I mean? But I just you know some people should stay 
where they are. Like, Keith like Murray. I feel like no, 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 not, not, no, not Keith Murray because he was actually battling at a point. I remember, I remember, I you know remember. what I'm saying? He was battling at a point. Fredro was battling at a point. They were doing it. So they, now, see, that's where <laughs> I have. The, that's that, that's where I have the problem. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. And, and when and when niggas speak out on shit, it's not like niggas don't like these niggas. Right, but right. you know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas do y do what y'all do. You know what I'm saying? You, you and we do like, what we do. You got to think Mike Jones created the slow it down. He was doing that before anybody. <laughs> yeah, that niggas, was the running was back. Not, was that was not, the running back. Was he not? Was he not <laughs> running shit back before anybody? Was Mike Jones 281, 330, hit me on this on the low, slow it down. I said 281. Mike Jones been doing nah, the slow it down. Nah, nah. I mean, yo. yo. <laughs> nah, listen, listen, you bugging. Yo. Right? Right? I'm saying like <laughs> that's right. facts. We got I, to slow it down for Mike. Nah, that's nah, nah, my nigga, you wildin'. He wasn't doing a slow so, down. You wildin'. He slowed down like so five. only so only certain people. Yeah, man, I feel like you know what I'm saying. This ain't some shit you just jump in and start trying to experiment with. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? Cause then shit like you gonna it's like disrespect to what we do. Like it's disrespect to the the I hours. It could I, be. It could be my fault. Could I think. Be. I think when I when I, I see. I think it's that Ringo shirt's fault though. Right. Person. It's all right, man. It's all right. We in the hotel. No, we just no. But no, I think I think like you know by me doing some of the crazy shit, I think I opened the floodgates for a lot of battles that ain't even battle rap battles. I think it's my fault. I think you did kind of in a way. Not a, not like bad. It's yeah. your fault. But yeah, they see possibilities. It like opens like eyes. Some people, to people. some people go. They like just didn't even spit not one bar. I could get in here and do some fuck shit. That's the same thing that happened with Soldier Boy. When Soldier Boy popped up, you know, you had a lot of niggas like, nigga, I, I could go in the house and download Fruity Loops, make a beat, and make a song. You know what I mean? Mook, what do, what do you think about, um, like we was talking about um, industry artists or whatever, what do you think about Cassidy battling Diz, Cassidy ain't battled in a long time or whatever. I, I like that. I mean, it's whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's something I can, I will watch. You feel me? Yeah, I would yeah. definitely watch that. That's that's big for battle rap. You know what I'm saying? That's big for do, do you, do disaster, you and that's big for Cassidy. Do you? Nah. It's over with. Yeah, like I. Yeah, man. I'm. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit is in the back of like I really don't care for the battle no more. You know what I'm right, saying? So right. it's like. It is. It's, I just want to watch it, just you know, because I'm curious to see how he would, you know, what I'm saying, how he would come at it. Like I, I already know how, you know, what I'm saying disaster gonna rap. Right, so right. I want to see how he gonna rap. That's gonna be part of it. That just the curiosity of. Okay, wait. Let me ask you something. Did you see disaster and daylight's battle on Total Slaughter? Yeah, I was. I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was there. Okay, I actually. You know, this is the homie and all that stuff, but I actually thought Diz kind of edged that. What yeah. did you? What did you think? It was close either way. Like yeah, you could yeah, say I mean, either person won or whatever. A lot of I, I feel like a lot of people gave it to Diz, but I didn't. you you got to understand something I about didn't. this. I didn't. All right, let's like when you when you when you judging no when you judging when you judging a battle. Oh, you got you got when you judging a battle. Oh, uh, yeah. When you judging, you might break the camera, huh? Yeah. No, no. When you when you judge in a battle, yeah. you have to be, you have to be fair. And you know what I'm saying. As God is my witness, Diz did have some shit, but like what's the name said, half of the verse wasn't some shit. Yeah, that, that's right. the only thing that that that's the only thing with me. It was like if if, if it took if, him too long to warm yeah, up. So you know what I'm saying? Case, in that case, if if you can say. Disaster beat me, then you can say Mav beat Disaster because Mav had the harder material in the Disaster battle. That waking up to the text, like the no, all that shit rocked the building. And that's that's what it is when it comes to a close battle. It could always go either way. You can some people gonna say one or the other. Um, let's let's go back to the Cassidy thing one time. What do you think? Um, what do you think the outcome would be that? Both. I want to ask both of you well, first. Uh, Murder Mook. Like, who do you think will win? I can't say that because I I haven't seen Cassidy battle in years. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's hard for me to say per se. Like, I can understand if I seen Cassidy and then I I know disaster, then I right. could kind of give my. But I don't know what the hell to expect. You know what so, I'm saying? So in that in that aspect. Wouldn't you favor it to disaster? Since, like they say, it's, if it's a sport and you ain't played a sport in a long time, right, right. wouldn't you give it to the person that's active in the sport? See, I wouldn't. I, it's hard because 
It's motherfuckers just sitting there waiting, knowing how to battle rap, but just, just, you know what I mean? So niggas might. Yeah, because you hold, you know, you wait for the big battle. Yeah, so yeah, that's. No, I'm of, just talking about motherfuckers yeah. that, you know what I'm saying? Like Adrian Brona. That motherfucker knew how to battle rap. He knew that's how to yeah, move. He knew absolutely. how to. Right, Absol. So you understand you know what, what I'm saying? saying? Yeah. So they waiting. It's hard to, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Cassidy might come up there and say some of the most incredible shit, and niggas be like, damn, like we didn't even, you know what I'm saying? Right. Or he could come up there and say just. Shit and niggas is like, uh, you know what I mean? I don't know what to expect. Gonna do an antic. I got a feeling. Cass gonna do an antic. I got a, I got a big feeling. Listen, this, this is my perspective on the battle. Tell me, tell me what you guys think about this. I think in that battle, I think Cassidy stands the biggest chance to win fans, and this, this is why I think. I think Cassidy will say stuff that disaster fans will feel more. Where I think, like. I don't think there's too much stuff disaster Cassidy fans will like. I, 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 can, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. Like, as far as the material being said, it's because it's easy, like, when disaster rap, it's easy for a nigga to be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, get out of here. Like, if they don't want to listen to, like, see, other people, like, I listen for the patterns and, you know what I'm saying, the actual how, how skilled it was to take to be able to put them words together but then you got some niggas that just be like what are you saying like say something like i don't care if you can you could rap six million words in a row you know what i'm saying if you didn't say some shit at the end of the day then i don't care you know what i'm saying and that's where it's like the thin line between him like with with disaster you know what i mean because niggas could easily be like yo man that shit corny man like yeah. like hood niggas, hood niggas don't really wow. like that. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like exactly. they just want some shit they can hear right then and there, wow. yeah. and be like, oh that 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 yeah. was hot. So it depends yeah, it, right it, there. It, it, they don't want to it, go. It, it, it all it all depends on who in the building for yeah. this. Who getting the rules? That that's what that's what's going to determine the, the outcome of the battle. I think that's what's going. The, the audience. Yeah, the like audience. The audience. audience. Well, I, I could kind of figure out what type of audience is going to be there. I mean, it's going to be on the West Coast, so it's going to be more yeah. grind timers, yeah. project blowers. I mean, yeah. I, I actually think, I actually think um, Disaster is going to win, and, and this is why I think. I think Cassidy has the better bars. It's not even really close, mm -hmm. but I think when you encompass everything that battle rap is, like performance, I think Diz is going to get them. I yeah, think I mean, if it— if you, if you want to— if, if, we, if we had— a battle rap system like you right, know what i'm saying you, you you get a 10 in performance a 10 in delivery a 10 right. in rebuttal you know what i'm saying if, if right. there was a system then yes the disaster is going to win but there right. is no system there right. is whoever hot that night yeah won. yeah basically it's whoever they feel like yeah. whoever's on fire you know what i'm saying if there's a kid on fire but, but see this is the thing though four and bars I, first four first mm -hmm. four is going to be critical for yeah. both of them Ooh. like the first beginning yeah. It's gonna be real critical on how they. You could you could almost tell who's gonna win by then. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it could see, it could go either way. But see, yeah. Cassidy Cassidy has a feature that's highly possible, which and I call this the B Magic feature. Cassidy fuck around and start punching back to back, mm -hmm. and yeah. that could be effective. Right, 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 you know what right, I'm saying? Right. Just la 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 like a la la. La 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 like a la 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 like a la. he just if he get into something like that the crowd will fuck with it you know what I mean do you do you think the length I don't know the length of the rounds but do you think the length of the rounds if it's longer I think if it's longer it, it favors disaster if it's like shorter three minutes or something it's in Cassidy's favor do you think that matters yeah. to either? yeah 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 yeah, yeah. And you get it right on the nose, definitely. Right. Especially with the freestyle. If they longer, it's if over they, for Cass. Yeah, if right. they long, if they longer, then they if they longer, then it's probably going niggas probably gonna fuck with with their shit. But if they if they shorter rounds, what's up though? If they shorter shit, then they niggas gonna fuck with Cass. You heard? Yeah. Right. What's good? How y'all doing? All right, let's uh. Mark. <laughs> hey, hey, what up, homie? What's the deal, baby? Chilling, man. Right. How you doing, good, man? Good, good. Yeah. Hey, um. Hey, I wanna uh. What's going on, G? Hey, what up, homie? What up? They like, come here. I wanna, I wanna uh, tell you like, like what I think of this guy. Like, I think he's like the, um, I think he's like the number one dude in battle rap, and it's not just like who he battled, but it's kind of like. 
how he did the people he battled. Because actually, actually, when he battled, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but this is the honest and true. I thought Iron Solomon could get you, man. Yeah, no, That's my bad. Listen, hey, listen. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. And wait, wait, hold on. Let me finish. And then um, the way he did Loaded Lux, like he did Loaded Lux real, real bad. So I think he's.